What is going on everybody? My name is Chris. Welcome to Bourbon Sane. Today we are back with another bourbon review. I am going to be reviewing Mare Pingree 4 Year Red Label. Now this bottle has a very special connection to me. I was able to go visit Valentine Distilling who makes this bottle and do a tour along with the Bourbon Junkies. We went down there for a day, got to meet Rufino Valentine who is the, uh, the owner of the place. He took us on a great tour, let us try a whole bunch of samples including this one. And um, it was just an awesome day. Learned so much about distilling in general, about the business side of things, about Valentine distilling. It was a great experience. And um, thank you so much to, to Rafino and, and everyone at Valentine Distilling for, for putting that on for us. This bottle I was really excited about. Now, this is their four year red label. Valentine makes a couple different whiskey expressions. So, they make a uh, blue label, which is actually a 10 year, usually single barrel, I believe. And also a black label, which is um, actually the newest black label coming out. We actually tried at the distillery and it's actually a seven year stated bourbon because that's the youngest bourbon they use in, in the blend. But the majority of that is actually 12 and 13 year old barrels, about 90%. So if you see a, a seven year black label Mare Pingree, Go pick it up because that stuff is on another level. I can't even, it's so good. Now Valentine does um, a little bit of both. So they source some of their stuff, like some of their older expressions like the blue label, the black label, and they also blend with their own. And this red label is actually the first time they're releasing all their own whiskey in, in, um, in the bottle. So this is actually a four year red label. This comes in at um, 94 proof. And named Mayor Pingree because uh, Mayor Pingree is actually a, Ping a, a mayor of Detroit, which is where Valentine is located. One of the best mayors, really, um, in the history of the United States. And um, he did a lot for the city of Detroit. And it's just really cool they they used him as um, as the person they named after to pay homage to the city where they're they're making their products. So, without further ado, guys, let's get into this bottle. Nice pop, even after this long, having it open. This is also an un, um, a non-chill filtered product as well. So that's very nice. I love it when distilleries do that. I think it just adds a lot to, to the whiskey in general. Um, so looking at the color on this, guys. Nice, actually a very, a pretty dark, color here um, up to uh, up uh, in in my light here medium to dark caramel I would say um, it um, it's a, a nice amber color which being only four years that's that's pretty nice they're getting the color out of this they are and I think probably the um, the non chill filtering helps that somewhat as well let's put the top on this see if we can get some of those aromas to come up here when we go into the nose here just got these new challenge coins, guys. If you're interested in picking these up, go ahead and shoot me a message on um, Instagram or email me at bourbonsane at gmail.com. But these challenge coins are absolutely awesome. I love these things. Number five we're using today. All right, let's give it a nose. So first thing that comes up is a very nice sweetness, um, almost like a green apple sweetness. The great thing about this being only four years, all their own product, um, it's not alcohol forward like you expect in a lot of young, you know, barely legal bourbons or um, or four year four year bourbons. Nice sweetness. That fruit note comes right up to the nose first. Green apple, a little bit of a. A peach note, I would say, even comes up. Um, the astringency or the, the the youthful note, I guess, if you will, is is there, but it is so subtle. It's it's definitely buried beneath the the, the better whiskey flavors you want. You know, the brown sugar, the caramel. That's all coming up along with those fruit notes, and it, it just smells excellent. It really does. All right, let's give it a sip here, guys. Cheers. Mmm. It's um. It's good. 
I, it's it's really hard to believe this is only four years. I mean, the flavors that come through on this make it seem like it is it is older than four years. Maybe six or seven, I would guess, had I not known that this is four years. Um, and I think even as I drank the bottle down, like this this third pour out of the bottle is better than the the first pour I had, first and second for sure. It's opening up nicely, so I think the um, I think the longer this this bottle opens up is going to be better. The um, the fruit notes are still there, so I still get that green apple, almost like a pear note came through on that taste. Yeah, pear is still on the nose. Pear and peach, I would say. The fruitiness is is great on this. Caramel and vanilla are there. I mean, the grain note is so subtle. I mean, you can pick it out if you're really looking for it, um, but it is, it's very, very subtle, and I'm I'm very happy about that. The four years, um, like I say, they, they do a really good job of making it seem like it's older. Really just, I, I think, um, you know, when we were at the distillery, Rufino said, you know, he really gives that as a testament to his his master distiller blender, who is uh, his name's Justin, at the distillery, and um, you know he is just so good at blending barrels, and obviously the things we tried. I mean, that seven year black label, and, and even the four year. I mean, it's just it's so impressive for what it is. It's it's really hard to believe. Um, I mean, such nice whiskey, bourbon notes come through. I'm loving the the, the caramel, the vanilla, brown sugars there, um, and then those that fruitiness. That fruity note is so good. That green apple pear note. It's just well rounded, very well rounded. Um, like I said, guys, I am I'm very impressed with this bottle, and I'm so glad I was able to pick this up. This bottle uh, was is about forty nine ninety nine. I think is the uh, the state minimum on this forty nine ninety nine. the The only issue is going to be distribution. So I mean, distribution at Valentine specifically is expanding every day. I mean, they're reaching into other markets, other states all the time. But the problem is, is um, you know, they also make vodka gin expressions, which are great, by the way. If you haven't seen my um, Valentine Distillery tour videos yet, go check them out. I'll link them in the video here for you. But we try all their expressions there, and I was very impressed with their other expressions as well. Um, but if these stores who, who carry their products don't really move their vodkas, their gins, their other products, it's tough for them to get bottles of the bourbon as well. Pretty much at this point for me, if you can find a Mayor Pingree label, and you'll, you'll see, I mean, this is a very unique bottle, um, a very good looking bottle, very unique. You can pick it out off a shelf for sure. Only difference is gonna be the color of the labels. If you can find this, I mean, it's an instant pickup. The the older expressions, uh, like the 10-year and um, like now the new 7-year black label, which sometimes have been 11-year previous releases, they are pushing like $80, $90. But what we tried out of that VAT was definitely worth that price. I mean, it, it was, no question. Again, this is going to be about 50 So, I mean, for $50, and this is coming from a micro distiller, this isn't even from like a big, big name um, you know, whiskey company, and I'm just so impressed with what they're doing with this. It, it's really hard to believe they're getting the flavors out of this that they are for for being what it is. If you guys can find a red label, um, definitely pick it up. It is worth, in my opinion, it's worth every penny. Um, fifty bucks, and this is a really good fifty dollar bottle. Probably one of the best, one of the best four year bottles I've ever had. I would say. Uh, if not the best, and also it being non-chill filtered is just an, an added bonus. It, it gives you another layer of complexity, which I love. Thank you guys so much for watching the review today. If you liked what you saw, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Also hit that bell notification so you know when I go live and when I drop a new video. If you guys haven't checked out my Patreon page yet, go check it out right now. I've got exclusive content you can only find if you are a patron, you can only see if you're a patron. Um, unreleased videos, things like that. A lot of really cool stuff over there. Thank you guys so much for watching the review today. Stay insane, guys. 